Here in Lagos, Governor Bajide Sanwulu wants all Nigerians to be grateful. Despite the many odds and challenges, Governor Sanwulu used the occasion of Nigeria's independence anniversary to urge Nigerians to remain united. Senior correspondent Adedoje Salam Adeni reports on this. Governor Sanwulu inspecting the Guard of Honor at the Mobolaji Johnson Stadium, Onikon. The governor taking salutes of the march past by the Nigerian police force, school children, and paramilitary organizations. We may not have fully attained the heights dreamed by our founding fathers. For Governor Sonwolu, even if Nigeria is not where it's supposed to be as a nation, there are clear signs of slow and steady progress. We're blessed with an energetic population, resourceful and laden with entrepreneurial energy, a free and vibrant press, a youth population that is increasingly politically aware, a democracy that is not complacent, and a thriving appetite among our old people for good governance. Let me therefore use this opportunity to commend the effort of all of you, our people, who have remained resolute in your commitment to Project Nigeria in spite of the various challenges our country is contending with. As the 2023 general election approaches, the governor urged Nigerians to focus on issues and refrain from the politics of division and bitterness. We must respect divergent opinions and respect the fact that the beauty of democracy lies in the fact that we will not all share the same ideological and political views. What we want and what is negotiable is a better country. I want to charge all of us that our match at presenting a greater Lagos is on course. This celebration marks Nigeria's proclamation of independence from British rule on 1st of October, 1960. Adi Doja Salam Adini, TVC News, Lagos.